Welcome to Walks and Talks with Diego. <laughs> During our Walks and Talks with Diego videos, Diego and I are going to be heading out on little adventures and have a little chat while we're at it. These chats are going to talk about some of our favorite topics with dogs and give you some helpful tips and tricks along the way. Now, of course, there's no better topic for our first chat than the big man himself, all about Diego. Diego is a 14-year-old mixed breed dog. We often joke that he is a brown dog when people ask what kind he is. Likely mostly shepherd, and who knows what else is in there. At 14 years old, he does have some age-related challenges. He's pretty deaf, <laughs> and he does have some mobility challenges as well. Something that you'll notice with him is that he has a very special harness. So we're going to toss a little treat ahead so that you can see the harness in all its glory. So this is a help him up harness, and you can see that there's a hip attachment. This allows us to give him a bit of extra support if he needs to. We can attach a leash to it to take some of the weight off of his hips, or we can use the handle that you see to help lift him up if he stumbles and falls, or to just give him a little bit of extra stability as we move along. Thanks for the demo, bud. Ready, let's go. Diego is a big part of the inspiration behind Dogwit. He's my first dog that I had that was all mine. And after I adopted him, we started to see that there were some behavioral challenges that started to emerge. So Diego has some early emotional traumas that have manifested into behaviors like reactivity concerns. And he does have some generalized anxiety as well. Over the years, we've worked very hard to help him through these traumas and he has absolutely excelled. Something that you'll notice about Diego is that his tail is typically down. Every now and then it'll come up or it'll wag a little bit. Now, normally when we see something like this, a dog's tail drooping down like this, it might mean that they're feeling a little bit unsure or even a bit afraid. In Diego's case, this is a really weird side effect following a surgery that he had. When he was 13 years old, he had bloat, which is a condition where the stomach twists and seals and nothing can go in or out of the dog. So very quickly, the stomach can swell and it is life-threatening if not treated immediately. So Diego had a very successful surgery after that condition. And since then, he has had a couple of challenges. One is that we never really see that tail come up. And the other is that he does have fecal incontinence as well. Something interesting about this for him is it has added to his anxiety, although he really has moved through it quite a bit within the last six months or so. So the anxiety comes in because he can't tell if he's going to the bathroom or not. So every little gas bubble, he would panic and think that he was pooping himself. So we had to do a lot of reassurance for him when he did have an accident to let him know that it's okay. Everybody poops and pooping is a-okay. Diego has taught me many things over the years, a lot about patience, and friendship and unconditional love. He has improved my skills as a trainer and behavior consultant. He has taught me about how I really need to look at things from another being's point of view when there is problems or conflicts. Some of Diego's favorite things include food. I think that might top the list. His extended family is pretty high up on there. He loves his grandma and grandpa. And I'll tell you, my dad was so determined that Diego was going to like him that he loaded all of his pockets and all of his clothing items with hot dogs every time he saw him. 
I even recall a time that he attempted to teach Diego to fetch by taping a hot dog to a frisbee. Now that you know all about Diego, we both look forward to giving you lots of tips and tricks as we go for our walks and talks.